And most companies don't even allow you to have a gun on the truck. And if you're caught with a gun, you will be fired. And not only, it doesn't matter if someone was breaking in your, your truck and you were defending yourself and you shot somebody, they'll probably still fire you. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. Jesus Christ. Mister, you okay in there? Oh, my God. Oh. oh. You all right? You run oh. from me, you cocksucker. Where's my money? I'll get it. I'll get it. My neck, Tony. Should you bring your weapon on your truck? No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Should you bring a gun with you while you're truck driving? My answer is no. And I'll explain why. The likelihood of someone breaking into your truck or you having to defend yourself and shoot somebody and kill somebody is not likely. Now, I'll agree with you, the world is getting more dangerous, the world is getting more crazy, but the likelihood of you having to shoot somebody is slim to none. And most companies don't even allow you to have a gun on the truck. And if you're caught with a gun, you will be fired. And not only, it doesn't matter if someone was breaking in your, your truck and you were defending yourself and you shot somebody, they'll probably still fire you because you're not supposed to have a gun anyway. A lot of the times, some states allow you to transfer those if you have a license or they're transferable, so the same, your concealed carry in Illinois might be the same in Michigan, things of that nature. But in some states, it doesn't. So you never know. So your best option just to not take a gun at all. And if you feel that you're in a place that you're unsafe, then move. It's just that simple. Don't go somewhere where you're not, you're not safe. It, it's very simple. There's a lot that you can control in that situation. Truck driving is not that dangerous as people make it seem. I think people are overreactive. I think if you're cool, calm, and collective and you mind your own business, you're not going to find yourself in business that you shouldn't be in. I know you see people probably on TikTok, they lock their truck up a certain way. They do their seat belts a certain way so nobody can break in the truck. At the end of the day, if somebody wants to get in your truck and get you and kill you, they're going to get in your truck and get you and kill you. So it's something that you can't control. But the likelihood of that happening is slim to none. I just think people overreact. Whatever makes you feel safe makes you feel safe. But my opinion on it is don't bring a gun with you. You don't need a gun. You're a truck driver. Your job is not to protect the loot or... Pr no. If somebody wants to take what's in the truck or what's in the, your trailer, let them take it. It could be a million dollars worth. Let them take it. What's it to you? You're the one working for the company. Who cares? That's what insurance is for. Shout out to this guy, this TikToker, once again, spilling cues in what he feels about trucking. Now, should you bring your gun? Maybe, maybe not, you know? That's his opinion, and I'll give him that. Maybe he is not going to bring his gun as he already says that he's a company driver and and the company already said that they're not allowed guns on their trucks which is true by the way by the way but what i have to say about it is hey listen if you feel comfortable bringing your weapon if you feel protected bringing your weapon and you have the necessary credentials to bring your weapon then all, by all means, bring your weapon because i rather be protected in a situation that I may need my weapon, okay? All right? Now, listen, listen, hold up. Let me, let, me, let me bring it back a little bit, all right? Let me bring it back. My thing is this. If you guys do have y'all weapons on y'all trucks, don't y'all don't need to go and, and flex them. There's no there's there's no need to flex your weapon on your truck on social media. That's that's my biggest issue right there. Is that you guys love to flex your weapon on social media and there's not a reason that you need to. You don't need to flex your weapon on social media. If you have your weapon, cool. That's for your protection, your personal thing. Leave it at that social media and the world don't need to know that you have your weapon on the truck especially if you work for a company that says that in their policy that you are not allowed to have a weapon on the truck 
But what they don't know won't hurt them unless when you actually get in the situation to use it, right? Slim to none. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that goes on in the world. And it's luckily that a lot of people don't have to be in that situation that they need a gun, right? Right, but for those that do have their guns and if they eventually ever get in that situation that they need to use it, at least they have it. They up under the they up under the belief that they rather be judged by 12 than carried by six. And the world is getting worse every day. It's getting dangerous out here. That's why, you know, you 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 tend to stay to yourself, right? You tend to stay to yourself and try to de-escalate any type of situation that you ever get in that you may or may not have to use your weapon. Now, let me tell you this. If you do use your weapon in in to protect yourself, and that company do say, hey, we're gonna have to let you go. Well, okay. It's a it's a it's a driver's market out here. I mean, companies are hiring, especially if you got the experience. So if you was in the right of using your weapon to protect yourself, and that company just so happened to let you go because of it the next company probably might bring you on and probably may or may not overlook the fact that you had to use your weapon for protection well of course if somebody was trying to break in your truck especially while you're in the truck that's invasion right there that's invasion of your personal property even though it's the truck, you know, trucking company, but you're occupying the space and somebody break into your truck to cause you bodily harm. I don't think they're going to, if, if they know you're in the truck, I don't think that they're going to break in the truck, do what they need to do, and then try to leave you alive. The whole point is not to leave witnesses. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do in a situation like that? Now, for people that have their weapons, they are able to probably get a shot off and then handle that at the situation. And like you said, yeah, the company probably might fire them because of the quote unquote that they shouldn't have a gun in the first place. But you got to understand some of the areas that you go, bro. You know, Memphis, you know what I'm saying? Some areas of Cleveland. You know what I'm saying? Some shady areas, some some sundown towns. You know what I'm saying? You know, some areas do require you to, you know, have your own personal protection, regardless of the fact that the company says, hey, you're not allowed to have a weapon. Hmm. Maybe there is a lot that you can control. Yeah, you can move. If you feel uncomfortable, if you at an area that you don't think that uh, that you're not going to be, you know, you're going to be restless at, yeah, get up and try to find somewhere else that you're probably comfortable at. But then again, a lot of places is not that safe anyway. You know what I'm saying? You probably might not be safe at this one place and then move down the street to another place that you think is safe, but that's end up being just as worse as the place that you just left. Don't forget you're still up under, you still up under HOS uh, regulations. So, you know, if you don't feel comfortable at one, at one place, you're gonna have to go into PC and type in the reason why you're moving. And, and a lot of those reasons is not valid with the DOT officers that check those. Oh, well you, you how many times you move? You move like three, four times and uh, I don't know. We, we probably gonna have to give you a violation on that. So some of these places you just don't know, bro. Like I said, you know, you you probably never been in Memphis. You probably never been in Tennessee. You probably might not have been in 
uh, shady areas of Cleveland, shady are- areas of Texas, shady areas of uh, Missouri. I'm sure if you one of those Dollar General drivers, they can tell you some of the areas that they go in and they get hit in broad daylight, bro. <laughs> they get hit in broad daylight. But any case, any case, I, you know, this is this young driver's feelings. You know, hopefully nothing ever happens to him that he would probably have to eat his own words or anything like that. But, bro, uh, you know, that's your opinion. You're entitled to it. Shout out to you. Hopefully you stay safe. Drivers, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Who is that DJ like?